You don't talk shit to me. I will fucking end your life. I will. After I get done petting you. I'll fucking end you. Oh, okay. Alright, so I survived uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I just got done working Cyber Monday. Man, that beard looks good. I know, I look like Zach Galifianakis. Everybody tells me that. <clears throat> so, it was pretty much as insane as everybody's been talking about for like months, telling us how insane it was going to be. It was insane. Alright, <clears throat> I want to get the McDonald's sign. My biggest complaint with McDonald's since I got here is there's only one in Coffeeville, so they kind of got a monopoly. So their people just didn't give a shit, and their service was awful. Oh, I don't know if it'll read it. Damn it, their sign says, looking to hire 13 people who care. Clearly, they heard the mistakes or heard people's complaints and uh, cleaned house. She's all Blair Witch Project of my fad. Oh, it's because my hat's down there. She's got such a massive crush on me, she always has to have her face in, like, any of my clothing. I have 19 days left with Amazon and no follow-up job. Um, I also have uh, no word from Amazon if they are thinking about extending me or converting me to a full-time employee in any way. First snow of the winter season. Baby! You're a baby! I feel like I'm one step closer to living that homeless hermit life except I have a rolling home and a sweet ass TV I really need to move that though so uh, last night it got down to about 19 degrees and uh, my little heater finally hit its limit where it was having a hard time keeping up so I started putting blankets and stuff to keep the cold out like the cockpit there, I already had a blanket hanging over, mostly just to block the view from, uh, you know, seeing the seats and stuff. Using it as sort of like a pseudo closet. But man, the cold coming out of there last night was insane. When I was recording another video, I could just feel it coming under to my feet. So I put a sleeping bag there, a couple towels on the window, because when I was laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep, I could feel the cold coming off the window. Um... So I'm making it like a little nest because, you know, the less area I have to heat, the better. But I'm sleeping in basically, let me move over here. Basically, the biggest portion of my RV, I'm heating. And it would be better if I was sleeping up there, I think, because then I could have the little heater curtain off that area and just have to heat that one area. I kind of wish I hadn't sold the kayak. Take it sliding. All of these bags. First snow. We got a little last night, it snowed a little more. It's funny, uh, since I have an old RV, I mean it's chilly in there, but I put those blankets up everywhere and it was fine. I'm keeping it above 55, which is normally where I keep my old houses. Um, but the door is not insulated, so my shoes were next to the door and the snow on them never melted.
So we're hitting the wall, I guess, on, uh, I just came home from work, it's, f or, uh, excuse me, it's actually 12 out, um, <laughs> and it's 46 in here, when I walked in the door, my little heater isn't keeping up anymore, and it's supposed to get down to negative 2 on Tuesday, which is 4 days from now, so I'm gonna have to, have to, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Oh, it's not picking up the ice in my beard. I just got out of the shower in between the walk from the shower house to here. Fucking my whatever was still wet in my beard froze into ice. Awesome. I wonder if it's going to pick up the snow. A little bit. Look at that. 45,000 for all three. One location. 45,000. There's three of them. Right off 8th and Main. Holy crap, the thing is kicking. I took it out of the box like an hour ago and just flipped it on medium. It's 33 outside, 66 in here. Now it's supposed to drop down to single digits tonight. And we'll see how that does. I have my ceramic heater there. And uh, I have it shut off because I don't want to blow a fuse with having two heating sources on. I had them both on a while ago, though, and so long as I'm here, I'll run them both, because uh, I only have 30 amp service inside of my, my cab here, so uh, having 30 amp service, you sort of, like, I have to turn off my heater to run the microwave type of thing, but uh, I was able to run both of these at the same time, which was pretty awesome. Um... But I want to see how this thing does by itself uh, tonight and just see, especially if it's supposed to get into single digits, see how it, how it does by the time I get home. Weather Channel is predicting that it's going to get down to negative 2. Uh, not today. I think it gets down to 8 today and negative 2 by Tuesday. And so I went to test this. I still got a. I've, I've been going over the propane lines, and I found one more spot where, that I've got to cap off, and then I think I'll be able to use the propane. But now it doesn't flip on. You can hear it click. Because it's 61 in here, so you can hear it click on at 60 to where it should start blowing air out of these little holes here for the furnace I would just need the propane hooked up so it would actually heat but nothing so mm, I don't know Well, that's better. Um, my little ceramic here couldn't keep that. So, I think, I think this will work, hopefully. So, uh, I woke up to a blown fuse once early, and I'm fucking exhausted right now. Um, oh, come on, light. So, I gotta figure out, it's one of these two. So I'm going to see if I can't get them to pop back on. So the 15 seems to be working all right. But uh, I'm going to have to check the others. All right, so I haven't been able to figure it out yet. I swapped the breaker, at least the 20 amp breaker. I seem to get that one working because that's for a couple of the plugs here. But the 30 amp, or 30 amp, yeah, this is 30. I got a new one of these, and it's still, and there's nothing wrong with this one when I cracked it open a while ago. So there's something else going on. Um, so I have, I have three main. 
Yeah, it doesn't mean breakers. And most of the power is back on, so I can still have heat and whatever. Uh, but the one that's the problem is the one that controls the hot water tape and my refrigerator and the interior lights. So I've unplugged everything from the line, tried resetting it and everything, and nothing. And I know I'm not thinking right because I'm really, really tired. I have so three days in a row I've had to get up early. I'm not getting enough sleep, and it's peak, and work has just been utterly exhausting, and I'm running on fumes right now. I'm just so tired. And I don't want to take a day off because... You know, I'm coming to the end of my stint. I'm not going to have any more money coming in. So if I took a day off to work with this problem, that's $100. And I'm going to need the 100 bucks. So... I got to get this figured out. 